Hello and welcome to The Good Witch. This is your Scorpio reading for February 2020. Um, thank you to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to my continued subscribers and to viewers. Subscribe. Like and subscribe. Comment. All of that great stuff, okay? Um, I've been announcing in the February videos that I will be traveling a lot and doing a lot of different rituals and spiritual retreats and I want to go live with you guys. So the only way for me to go live is if I have a certain number of viewers. We're almost there. We're not there yet. So I need you guys to bump that up for me real quick. Okay. Love you lots. Let's continue. Scorpio, this is going to be a very lucky month for you. Luck is definitely on your side. Now, I do believe that luck is mostly preparation. You have to be prepared for this look, but things are working in your favor. They're coming. Hmm. Hold on. Need something. Luck is definitely in your favor. And things are working out well for you this month. Sorry, I got a lot of stuff going on behind you. And I just need to keep it, keep everything cool, calm, and copacetic. Um... But luck is definitely with you. You have a message from Earth, and I'm doing this completely backwards. Um, normally, I go over what you got in the Orisha Tarot deck and the Monology deck last, which is how the previous readings for February have gone. Yours has to be a little bit different. You got a message from Earth. Like a, he looks like a gob, he's a goblin or a dwarf, whatever you want to call him. Um, a magical creature that holds the wealth of the earth. You read about him a lot of times and, you know, we've all seen the leprechaun and all this other kind of stuff. But they do hold the wealth of the earth. They are guardians of prosperity. Like, people sit them outside to make sure their crops grow and that their harvest is good. They put them around barns to make sure that the livestock doesn't get sick or diseased or anything like that. So, in front of him is a four-leaf clover. He's very wise and he knows a lot. Somebody's going to be imparting a lot of wisdom into you this month. Telling you things that you feel like you already know. But you have, some of it you feel like you already know. Some of it is brand new, but you haven't exercised it yet. So what's the point of you knowing so much, Scorpio, if you don't use it? Okay? Um, and you have this look, and the Monology deck is telling you to step out of your comfort zone. If you're asking a yes or no question, if you want to ask a yes or no question right now, if the question is like, should you do it? The answer is yes. If it's something that you're wanting to do, if it's a business you're wanting to start or a project or a relationship, whatever it is, it wants to bring you wealth and happiness. Wealth doesn't always mean money. Sometimes it just means happiness and abundance. But that's your message from Earth. It's definitely on your side, okay? This is your love. This is your prosperity. This is a message from the divine, okay? For personal growth. Let's look at your love. I don't know why I'm so hyper today. Don't you fuck with So I'm hearing the Princess Nokia song, Bruja's like, you guys have been just, or you will be manifesting like crazy. Your thoughts, the positive things that you're thinking are coming to pass and nobody's able to mess with you. When you wake up, no makeup, half naked, you feel like you the shit. That's Ciroc. I don't remember the name of the song, but 
That's where you're at right now. You just feel like you're winning. And that's a beautiful thing. Okay? You have the Ten of Cups, the Death card, and the Queen of Swords. You are, feel like you're winning. You understand that changes are happening and you're not afraid of them. And you're just real chill and relaxed and ready to let go of all those things that don't serve you. Hmm. Like you are very powerful this month and you're very, very, very like floaty. Like you're not concerned about what people have to say. You're not concerned about what anyone else wants you to do. Your beginning of your month this past week may not have been that way, but for the coming weeks, it is. You just don't want nobody to mess up your energy. Don't kill your vibe. And that's just where you at. There's no possible way for you to fail. And you're just very, as long as you stay in this princess of wands energy, this fiery, passionate, I love life and life loves me type energy, regardless of what anybody else feels like I should do or should not do, this is what I'm doing because this makes me happy. This gives me wealth. This gives me joy. And again, I'm not talking about financial wealth. This is wealth of life. And this is concerning your love life. So your love life, they better be acting right. You're very passionate about someone. And they're very passionate about you. You're both being very open and honest about your emotions and you're offering emotions to each other this month. This is a beautiful month of exchange of emotions. And some of you who are in these distant or long, long distance relationships are even, you guys are communicating telepathically. Even if it's someone that you're not currently close to all the time, you guys are communicating back and forth. You're sending each other positive thoughts and positive energy and hugs and loves and vibes. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. And you're not worried about any past misfortunes or anything negative. Any, you're not worried about anything at all as far as your love is concerned. And that goes for your love of self, your love of others, your love of family, your love of life. Way to go, Scorpio. I'm proud of you. You let that shit go. Good job. Let's look at your personal finances. You're going to have to work on it. You don't want to. You have the Ace of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Three of Discs. So, Tell the story. You understand that changes have to be made. You know the work that needs to be done. And you love the work that you have to do. But you're just thinking about it. You're not actually doing it. You are very... And it's steps. One, two, three. So you're getting your processes and your plans together. Your finances may be kind of tight this month. But you won't even notice because you have so much love happening. You're full of creativity. Your finances aren't really stable, but you are happy and blessed and fiery. But that'll be in March. This is in March. You're going to have to catch up with the stuff that you're let slipping this month because you're so elated with love. And that's okay. So it's worth it sometimes. You're not really focused on your wealth this month because you're so don't F with my energy. I, and I know I'm the shit when I wake up. No makeup, have naked. I feel like I'm the shit. And that's fine. Feel that way. 
but it's getting you you're not focusing on anything else right now you're just enjoying being happy as far as your finances go let's see what can we what can scorpio do to fix their finances this month if they want to what would they need to do other than that other than focus No. Other than focus. Give them. Okay. Okay, you're going to have to change the way you think about success. You're going to have to allow people to help you. And you're gonna have to be open and honest with them. Be open and honest, allow people to help you and change the way you see success. Don't let the financial stuff knock you out of your happy place. Just fix the financial stuff. And I know it sounds simple. I'm making it sound simple, but it's really difficult. You're gonna have to learn how to work and be love you're gonna have to learn how to work and and grow and change and prosper and still handle business because right now you don't want to this month you don't really want to but you're gonna have to learn how to if you want this month to go to not make you suffer next month okay all right let's look at a message from the divine you have the moon Ace of Cups and the Star. Your changes can't be based on emotional decisions if you want wish fulfillment. Yes, you always lead with your heart. Always lead with your heart. But that can't be the only way you make your decisions. And that goes back to this. That goes back to you being so happy and in love with someone else and y'all are pouring into each other and you're in love with yourself and you're in love with this person and you're in love with life and you're in love with your kids and you're in love with your mom and you're in love. Love, love, love. I don't want to do anything. I just want to lay here in love. Huh. Okay. And all your decisions can't be based that way. They can for a few minutes. They can for a few days. Once you get into a few weeks, you might run into a few problems. And some of you have, it's not necessarily you that's doing this. It's someone that you care about that wants you to do this because they're doing this because they're so in love and elated and caught up in the rapture of you. And there's nothing wrong with that. But... You're going to have to make some other decisions. All of your decisions cannot be based on love. Don't get so wrapped up in someone else that you lose the core of who you are. That you let that fail. Love them. Love them relentlessly. And let them love you too. But don't lose you in the process, Scorpio. They see the God in you and you see the God in them and you bring out each other's inner child and you are both stubborn and you're both bullheaded and neither of you ever forget anything that the other one has ever done. But you can't see life without each other. And that's great. That is wonderful. People look their whole lives for that and you probably have it or it's on the way. For those of you who are my single Scorpios who don't have this, be on the lookout because someone is coming that wants to do this with you, that wants to pour into you and they want you to pour into them and you have good luck, you're just gonna have to step out of your comfort zone to meet them. If you wanna meet, if you wanna be with somebody who reads, because you enjoy reading, but you only read online books and you never go 
to a bookstore, maybe you should go to a bookstore. Or join a club online and that a book club online. Something. Do something where other people are involved and you're not just to yourself. Let them come in. And when they try to come in, don't push them away because you have to be out of your comfort zone in order for them to come in, okay? And for those of you in relationships, don't hold back. Don't hold back at all. Enjoy this. It's February. It's the month of love. It's the only correct month as far as days are concerned in the calendar. Um, the Western calendar, anyway. Just love. I love this reading. Y'all are one of the most lovey signs ever. I'm wondering who y'all person is because they must not know what you got up your sleeve. Mm -hmm. Sneaky Scorpios. All right. We love you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Peace, love, and light. This is a very short reading, but it's a beautiful one. Recap. Oh, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You're in a very good place the month of February. I hope it runs over into the month of March, May, April, June, July, 2020, all year long, and then into 2021 and beyond, because that's a great way to feel and a great place to be. And for those of you who this does not resonate with, I suggest you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. For those of you, it might be one of two of you who this is the polar opposite for. You might need to reach out to me for a spiritual consultation because we need to figure out why this doesn't resonate with you, Scorpio. If you are a Scorpio son and this doesn't resonate with you, you need to reach out to me so we can figure out why and clear that shit up. Because I wish it did and I hope it does soon, okay? And just because it does, it may not feel like that right now today, you still got about, what, 20 some more days in this month for this to kick in okay all right i love you peace love light and blessings send you lots 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 of ra and myrrh Mwah. peace from the good witch